In this video, I want to talk about uh, hidden gems of I read only collections, uh, which include I read only list, I read only dictionary, I read only collection, which are very underrated and should be used more often than they are being used uh, now in C sharp code. You might be wondering what the heck is I read only collection. I will try to keep it simple and will explain the usefulness of this with an example. Assume that you are creating an application that shows students data and you are using a repository pattern. So at bare minimum, uh, you might need a student model, student repository. And in this video, I'm not going to make student repository. I'm just uh, uh, making a simple code as you are looking on the screen. So when you want all the students, you will return these, uh, return list student or I list student. Your method may look something like this as you are as you can see on the screen just simple here I have uh, made a method get student list and here I am returning uh, simple data dummy data of students uh, with list of class student so now assume that the scenario where you are working in a pretty big team where you are responsible for writing data access layer someone else for business logic and a third developer will consume that what if that developer will try to add a new item to the list or uh, you want to prevent yourself from adding adding an item to the list so you can use i read only list oh let me explain this here i am just returning data uh, dummy student data with the list and here I can modify this list you can see that students have method of add but as uh, I change this list to I read only list so there will be no longer add method so by using I read only list you can prevent your uh, list from adding or modifying new records so this is a good practice if you want someone to uh, which cannot be modify your list so you can use i read only list thanks for watching